Okay, guys, it's Ryan Bridge Bugman, and we are going to set ourselves up and mount some insects for you today. Um, if you look here at the top of the board, sorry this is upside down, but uh, I just got done mounting this one. This is an Atlas moth, a female. Um, beautiful moth. Not the largest in the world, but one of the largest. And the reflection that's on there, those are microscope slides and plastic slides. If you caught part one uh, explaining the tools and the different things that we use, then most of that should make sense to you. Uh, if you didn't catch part one, well, you probably want to think about doing that. Um, it would explain and probably answer a lot of questions for you before we get too deep into what's going on here. Um, now, make sure that's centered for you. We are going to mount up the male of the Atlas Moth now. Um, I'm going to go in here to the to the relaxer, if you remember that. We discussed that in part one as well. I'm going to bring this moth. Yeah, he's really good. This moth out here. Um, this moth has been in the relaxer now for probably, I don't know, maybe 30 hours or so. Um, it's a little longer than I prefer, but it's enough to get the job done and this moth is going to be in really really good shape um, beautiful moth and it should mount up really really nicely so that's the plan um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself up with some of the proper tools I want to get myself a couple number seven pins have them ready I want to get myself uh, my box of uh, ball headed pins keep those ready and I also want to keep a couple other things handy I want to keep uh, some of the larger the uh, 234 insect pins I want to keep some of the glass slides handy as well and I definitely want to keep some of the larger longer plastic slides um, these are the ones with the little little pinhole that is, that is drilled into it to secure them down. Um, and it's going to take several around this moth. And, and I'll, sometimes I lay them across the bottom and even up across the top. But we'll see where it goes with that. And then uh, odds are we might even break in and grab a couple glass slides. So the uh, glass microscope slides. Uh, usually for wing tips and uh, sometimes for the ends, the bottom of the, the hind wings. All right, so let's, let's get started here because the longer this takes the longer it takes to get it done eh all right so first thing we got to do is we need to pin this moth and this moth is really relaxed look how beautiful that is isn't that amazing how beautiful these moths are okay so the first thing we're going to do we are going to pin we're going to pin this moth um and this this is probably harder than it looks um, it takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of skill. Um, I'm going to pinch things a little bit to kind of break these muscles down and make sure these wings are ready to go, and that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to look inside down here, and there's a little, and I can see that. I don't know if you can. There's a little white line that's down in there, and that's where the, the thorax and the abdomen separate. So I know I need to be in front of that white line. And I need to be in the center of the thorax for this moth. So I'm going to sort of force the wings back a little bit. I'm going to push them straight back so I can get access to the center of that, that thorax. Um, at first I'm coming in at a slight angle, but I will angle back up and make sure this is nice and straight here in a minute. So the pin is essentially in, it's just not pushed through yet. Now I'm going to push those wings out of the way. I'm going to start to pin down. I'm keeping my finger on the outside of those wings. You notice that. I'm not in I'm not into the wings. Because I don't want to take color off the wings if I can help it. Now I'm through down here. I'm through the abdomen or through the thorax. And I, I want to make sure I'm straight. And that is pretty good. It's not perfect. It's not perfect, but it's straight. I'm gonna try and straighten it up just a little tiny bit. Because you know do it right the first time so you don't have to do it again 
there we go. Now we're good. Now wings are the wings are coming apart for me. That make that works out real nice. So I'm going to push this moth into the board, and I'm going to push that pin down just a little bit further. Try not to touch the wings as much as I can. And I'm taking a little bit of color off the edge of the wings. Um, that's that won't that won't even be noticeable once the moth is is mounted, which is which is safe. Okay, we're gonna push things up a little bit further. Notice I don't want to get too too uh, far down in. I don't want to do too deep. This wing is flopping around. That's funny. Um, and we're just gonna set this moth in. Now the next thing I have to do, I have to check the depth into that groove. If I'm too deep, um, see if I can do this without flopping the other one around. If I'm too deep, then the wing will essentially crimp right here. That's not going to be good. That's not going to be good at all. Okay. So I want to make sure I'm nice and even. And then I'm going to come in with a slide. Don't need a slide for this one yet because that one fall. That one fell right over. That's that's beautiful. Okay. I'm going to come in with this slide and I'm going to just go and push and flatten that wing down. I'm just letting these slides aren't real heavy. Um, I'm just letting a little bit of the. You know, letting things settle in here. I'm letting this wing slowly work its way down. Uh, it'll be nice and flat right on the board and straight across because it'll actually pull the body up a little bit if necessary. And if, if I need to, I can even get in with the forceps. And I can move things around this way. I'm kind of on the pin now. I'm going to raise up just a tiny bit. That way I know the wings are going to lay flat. Same thing with this. I'm going to lay this down now on the wing. And that will keep things secure just for now. Now not even close to done okay not even close to done we need to bring all four wings forward um, some people are really really adamant about not punching holes in the wings um, I'm you know I, to me that's a that's a choice kind of thing um, if you work in an environment where either you your personal preferences to never ever ever punch a hole in the wing in order to make the wings work for you. Um, but look, man, I've been I've been teaching people to mount insects for 35 years. And when you're dealing with six and seven and eight, nine year old, you know, kids, which is the gist of my audiences for those kind of programs in a lot of cases, um, you can't expect those kids to have that patience and that dexterity to mount like a professional entomologist. It's just just not going to happen like that. So um, I'm okay with holes in the wings. I've never had a a museum or or anybody turn down my donations because there's a couple pinholes in the wings. If you're really concerned about the commercial value at the end of the day, then yeah, you probably don't want holes in the wings. But for educational purposes, you know, the reality is that these you know people don't people don't care. Um, what they want to see is a really nice, really beautifully mounted. Um, you know, something they can appreciate. You know, if it looks, if it's in parts and pieces, it's not nearly going to be uh, as easy to appreciate something like that. So I'm going to zoom in just a touch here so you can get a better look at what we're going to do with this moth. And that should be good. We may lose some of the wing tips as we go, but uh, hopefully we don't I'll pull him down just a bit. There we go. All right. So I'm going to move this slide out here a little bit. And pick it up and move it. I don't slide it on the wing or else I'll take the color right off those wings. Um, same thing with this one. Okay. Now, I've got to get the four wings moved up, anchored in, and then I can bring the hind wings up. And sometimes I need to inch them both at the same time. Other times I can do two and then two more. Um, normally I'm working with one wing at a time. So, we'll try and do it... Uh, We'll try and do it the, the scientifically correct way first, and I'm going to try moving a wing without putting a, pull, a hole in the wing, just, just for the sake of those folks um, who would really, you know, make take issue with that. And, 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 you know, just for the sake of those folks, we're going to try and make this work. And it slides right back down, but that's okay. There we go. That's probably right about where I want that. Now i got to watch what I do here because I want to make sure I can secure this. So I'm real. I'm being real careful to move this slide around without messing things up. And I'm going to push the slide down, anchor the wings in. I'll use the ball head pins. It makes it easier so you, you folks can see what we're doing. 
and I'm going to pin that there. And then I'm going to pin this at an angle that way. And that will, generally speaking, that will lock that four wing into place by pinching it underneath that slide. Okay. Now, this hind wing is almost perfect already. I probably don't even need to do anything with it. So I think I got really lucky on that one. So I'm going to lock that down because this is going to be a dynamite looking moth if I can get the other side to look just like that. How neat is that? Okay, I'm going to lock that down. Okay, now here's the deal. I need to make this side look like that side. So this is where the fun begins. All right, look at it. How it looks like a snake's head. Isn't that cool? Atlas moths are so cool. They're not the largest moths in the world. They're one of the largest moths by all means. Okay, let's pick up my, uh, remember my little dentist tools that I told you? You can go to the dentist and you can get these things. So I'm going to grab one of those. We're going to try and get a hold of this four wing. And this four wing is free floating really nicely. Almost scarily too nicely. A little worried about it at this point. It might fall right off. And, uh, well, maybe it's not going to fall right off because now it's sticking on there pretty good. But that hind wing doesn't want to move with it. So we're going to pull that hind wing and make that hind wing find a new home. Okay, here we go. Leave a number seven. Remember the seven, the number seven pin? I told you I use it as a, as a, uh, a tool more often. Now I try not to put a hole in a wing, but if I do, I'm not going to get too worried about that. Um, I got to get it out of this this groove, and I got to get it. It's probably wedged in between the abdomen as well, so, and the groove edge. So I'm going to bring this out just enough that I can make this wing sit tight. Oop! I don't want to put holes if I go, but okay. And we're moving both at the same time, which is kind of cool. That doesn't usually happen. All right, I'm comparing this one to the other side right now. I'm trying to get it as close as I can to the other side. The hind wing is what I'm talking about right now. That's what I'm looking at. Okay, I'm going to get that as close as I can. Set that slide down right there. I'm going to anchor that. Put a pin in there. Keeps the slide from moving around. And I'm going to angle another pin in here and that wedges sort of wedges the slide in so it doesn't go anywhere and I'll even put a third pin in to make absolutely sure that this slide doesn't go anywhere I don't want it to go and that should hold that hind wing right into place just just like that cool All right. you get it sorry about the reflection All right, now we gotta make the, the four wing go where we need it to go. Now it, it's free floating really nicely so I'm just going to move it gently with my finger. I'm lifting up on the slide here. Move this up a little bit. I'm, I'm lifting on the slide in the front so that we're not not dragging it and not messing up the wing. And I'm watching my colors. i use a ball head pin to show you what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this right here. I want this and this to look the same. So I'm going to move this wing accordingly until I get that desired look. This body, the twist in this body, I can probably make that, you know, I can probably work that out here in a minute. I'm not too worried about that yet. I want to make the wings look good first. And it's funny to push the wing the way I'm doing it because that wing is just really nice. It's just so softened up. All right. Pretty close, close enough, maybe. I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lock that down. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to anchor it at an angle to keep it pushed down. And that's pretty, that's pretty good. I may move this hind wing a little bit yet. There's a big, and this, you notice the gap. There's a pretty big gap here and it's not quite solid. I'm probably going to move that hind wing in a minute. Let's get the uh, let's get the body figured out though, because the body's all twisted. I'm going to come in here with one of the number sevens, big number seven pins. And I'm going to slide it up up across the body and get in between, wedge it in there, and now I'm just going to simply retwist the body back where it goes, sort of like that.
Okay, now you notice we just offset those wings. That's that's fine. That's the different. That's that's what happens when you don't pin the wings down. Things are going to shift a little bit. Things are going to move a bit. I'm per, I'm okay with that. I'm not. That doesn't freak me out one bit. I'm going to come up here at the front and I'm going to untwist the body this way too. And we shift things a little bit, but the body stays straight. That is a goal. All right. I want I want that I want that body to be nice and straight. And we can reset those wings a little bit if we have to. The the moth is. You know, moth is good to go. I'm going to bring the abdomen up, and I'm going to detail this abdomen. I want to bring this up where we can see it, because if it sags all the way down, that's just not cool. And we want to be able to see these. You want to be able to see the parts of the bugs. Okay, take another number seven, and we're going to fish it down in there. We're going to separate the antenna a little bit. Big bushy antenna on these male moths. You know, they use their antenna to smell with. Keep that in mind. So. All insects have antenna, and large male moths like this have these really big, fluffy, furry antenna. Feathered, if you will, is what they're known as. And because uh, they fly around in the dark, man, so you got to be able to smell. You know, they smell better than they see. Okay. So far, so good. Now, I'm going to reset this hind wing because everything kind of fell apart when I straightened out the body. So I'm going to. Pushing down on this part to keep that four wing in place, but I'm going to need another number seven first. So I use these number sevens. I don't use them. I don't use them for pinning bugs as much as I use them for, you know, tooling the wings and putting things where I need it to be. So watch this. I'm going to move this wing up. A little tiny hole in the wing right there. Um, and you know what? There's some people that would not appreciate that. Trust me when I say this. My audiences do not mind that. They don't even see that sort of thing. They don't. They don't notice that because they're too. I can't see what I'm doing here because they're too busy. Too busy looking at the coolness of the moth to worry about a tiny little hole in the wing. Now watch. I'm going to put a hole in the wing right here. This is going to freak people out. But guess what? I'm allowed to do this. Tiny little hole right behind that vein that's going to allow me to move that that whole wing is going to move right off of that pin watch this this is going to be fun look at that okay simple simple and i can move that wing pretty much wherever i want it to go now i've got i got control of it and that's you know that's what it's about man we got to make this thing look good okay pretty nice pretty nice Looks a little better. I think it looks a lot better. I'm going to do the same thing to this wing, and I'm even going to put a little, find one of my smaller insect pins. There we go. That's about a size, probably a size two, maybe. And I don't like the sag of the four wings. So we're going to reset those as well. But I want to bring this hind wing up first. Same little vein I used on the other one. Watch this. Lift, move it, and try not to put a big hole in the wing. There we go. Cool. And now I'm going to move this four wing up a little bit because we're hind wing is anchored in pretty nicely. Four wing moves super easy, so we should be able to move that just like that. Wow, how nice is that? How cool is that? I think I'm going to go with that. I don't want to. I don't want to keep moving that four wing around too much. Um, and you see how I'm anchoring things down. I got one little hole here and one little hole there. Um, eventually, I'll pull this pin out, um, and I won't mess with that too much. I think I want to move this four wing up a little bit. We're just going to tweak something here a little bit. We might even have to move the hind wing after that too. But a um, little bit of a perfectionist thing going on here. But I, I want them to look the same. And this hind wing right here is, or this fore wing right here, is sagged a little bit. If I zoom in a little bit, I can show you better. Um, see where it's lower. You know, if you draw a line straight across here, all of a sudden this end is further down. So you realize they're not, they're not set the same. So I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to pull that, and I'm going to set that right about there. Okay? That is, I think, where I want to be. 
reset the whole thing and now that wing stays now remember this little pin right here that controls this entire hind wing so this is going to be really easy to shift i'm going to hold i'm going to hold let me zoom out i'm going to hold up here um, just because it's anchored down already, so nothing's going to happen there. But I'm going to I'm going to get positioned up here with to get some leverage because I want to lift back here. I want to lift this up just a little bit that I can move this this hind wing from this pin. I'm going to move it from this pin. The whole wing is going to shift from this from this wing or this pin. So zoom in again. See if we can get you a better look at what's going on. And watch, I want you to pay attention to this right here. Watch this gap close. That's me moving the entire wing. See that? See that? Okay. Now I look across and I go, okay, are we the same? Mm, not quite. This one needs to come down just a little bit. And now we are good. We are locked and we are loaded. And I'm going to anchor everybody down. I get a pin in there. And then I get a pin in here. And Sorry about that. Got two pins I just put in down here to anchor this in. I'm going to put another pin back here again where I had it before. And that keeps things where they should be. All right. Still got a little tiny bit of a twist going on in the body. I'm, I'm actually okay with that. I, you know, um, I, can, I can make that look a little bit better um, by tweaking it. See, watch this. Okay, tweak and take that number seven pin. And I tweaked it a little bit. And I shifted it a little bit, and now it's back to being pretty nice and straight again. Uh, you have a lot of control over these things, more than you, more than you know. It helps to know how the, you know, I mean, it helps to know how the body works and how how the anatomy is going to shift. And you know, beetles can even be, you know, really challenging at times because legs don't always move the same ways every time. All right, so we're going to do that. Get the antenna. Check this antenna out. Big fluffy antenna. Pretty cool. All right. Now, things have shifted again over here because I don't have a pin in this wing. And this wing has sagged twice. So, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for it. I'm putting a pin in here this time because I'm tired of this wing not behaving itself. And I'm going to lift a little bit on the end. And I'm going to move this this wing and close that close that whole thing back up again without breaking stuff. There we go. Okay, back to being just about perfect. Just about perfect, man. Such cool moths. These Atlas moths and uh, beautiful. I mean, gosh, how can you not appreciate something like this? Just an outstanding moth. All right, now we got our little wing tips. All right, these things are gonna. There's nothing covering these up right now. Um, this falls into the details. I've also got some wing exposed here that I can I can do stuff with that too if I want to. What I worry about is curling. As things dry, they, sometimes the wings will curl. The wing tips will definitely curl. Almost as surely are gonna curl and sort of start flo you know floating up into the air. So. I kind of predicted that. I kind of saw that coming. I've maybe mounted one of these before. Um, I'm going to come in here with some microscope slides. Now these are glass microscope slides, and they're just simple little microscope slides. And I'm going to lay those down one right there. Okay, I'll zoom this in for you so you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to lay another one right here. And I want to get it outer by the edge because it's the tip that's going to do it. So I'm actually going to overlap right over the edge a little bit. Boop. And I'm going to lay that down just like that. Now I can even take advantage, even more advantage of things by coming in further down on the wing. And I can actually get the whole edge of that wing underneath the slide. Just like that. So everything flattens out. Just like that. That whole edge of the wing right here. Is now is now under that slide. That's perfect. And I'm going to anchor things in because I know how things are going to move. I just it's a 
Call it experience and call it a gut feeling. I know how things are going to move with this. So I'm going to anchor, push that back a little bit, make sure that slides where I want it to be. And it's good. So now I'm going to anchor it as well. Pretty simple stuff. So I just took care of the majority of this, you know, the majority of this wing tip. Um, if this little bit curls here on the edge, that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, man. It's, you know, look at this moth. I mean, what needs to be perfect about this moth? It isn't good enough already. So I don't, I'm not going to beat myself up over that, that kind of stuff. Those are really minor details. Because, you know, again, my audiences, they really don't mind that. They don't have to be perfect. They just, they just got to get the job done. And the job is education. The job isn't to be uh, judged and graded on, you know, how good or bad I'm mounting my bugs. I'm totally confident that I do a good enough job to keep my audiences happy. To me, that's all that counts, you know? No stress, no pressure. And I'm going to anchor this one down. A little bit of inward angle on that, just to keep that slide from going anywhere. And there you go, man. It's a male atlas moth. And he is awesome. Yeah. I mean, what is there what is there not to appreciate about this moth? It just I love these things. Um seeing these things alive is absolutely amazing. And again, you know, they got that sort of that snake look, snake head look thing going on clear windows in the wings and those are clear spots those aren't white there you can see right through those little windows in the wings okay so we get it i could probably sit here and tweak this thing 18 more times and and make it look more and more perfect all day long but i gotta i just you know you know eventually you have to just walk away and this is good enough in my book um this will get the job done there's a lot of people thousands and thousands of people are going to see this moth and appreciate this moth and that is all i count this is all i care about all right guys we're done with this one all right we're good to go so i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you learned a little bit about you know what you can do between parts one and parts two and look if you like what you see if you like what, what what's all you know what we're doing here uh, you got to go to the the website ryanthebugman.com ryanthebugman.com and you hit that contact page and let me know. Tell me what you think. You can also find me on YouTube. I got a bunch of stuff going on on YouTube right now too. So Ryan the Bugman on YouTube. You can find us there as well. So that's what it looks like to mount up a moth. Butterflies, much the same. You know, four wings, two antenna, three body parts, and a ton of cool bug fun. Guys, I'm glad you were here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be well, be safe, be kind, but be here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Pacific. Have a great day, guys. We'll see.